Hello, Comment fam. Welcome to Comments Below. I'm Poet Imi Yu. David Vujanic. And this is a show where you leave your comments below. And some of them are. Mm. Some of them are. Yeah. And it's an epic moment in this show. And it only goes... Comments of the week. Where we discuss last week's comments and any other business. Hey, today we're talking about the Community Shield and how fitting because we're in Wembley. We also speak about Roy Keane, selfies and six packs. But where better to start than the Community Shield, where the FA in the last 10 years have raised £6 million for such amazing charities as the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation. And Poet, how do you feel? I feel great. Uh, a bit like Jacob here. He said, Chamberlain gives Arsenal a Community Shield victory despite a questionable haircut. Thoughts. What do I think about the victory? Um, very, very, very impressed. It's the first time I've sat down, watched Arsenal in a big game and thought, we're actually going to see this out. You've got Petr Cech in goal. Finally, we've got an adult fed up all these little kids in goal. And the defence, they look more sure of themselves. They look more confident, apart from Bellerin, who was just playing right wing. It was a good win, but it doesn't mean a damn thing if we can't apply that wait, same wait, attitude wait, wait, wait. in the Premier League. You, me, the, the Arsenal fan The Vuj. most deluded man you've the ever Arsenal met in your life. Vuj. What is going on today? You, yes, me. the man, the gas man himself. The gas man himself. We've done well, but... Just calm down. I loved your tour bus, by the way. What was our tour bus? You got, you know, the, the three trophies you won this summer. Treble, yeah. Yeah, you've, you've won the what, Emirates Cup. Yes. What else? The Samsung trophy. <laughs> it was something like that. Something like that. It was that. the Asia trophy. It was a trophy in Asia. The and Asian charity show. And can I say the the Asian end, Premier League? The Asian Premier League, yeah. uh, which doesn't last that long. It's two games. This is better than Man United's treble. It took them like nine, <laughs> ten months. Out of here, man. It took us two months to do the treble. And two I think months to do the treble. Maybe a month and a half. The quickest treble ever. The quickest treble ever, and I think that's what should be appreciated. Rory's brought a good question. Rory says, Wenger finally beats Mourinho, but does the community shield matter? Now, I'm not going to ask if it matters to the wider demographic like the fans, because that's quite obvious. It meant a lot to us. But between Wenger and Mourinho, them egos there, do you think Mourinho cares that he lost the community shield to Wenger? Yes. <laughs> yes, and that is that is proven by him actually throwing his medal to the crowd, you know, just walking off, storming off, and even saying, you know, like this is for losers. The silver medal is for losers. I don't want it. After that, I think he's gonna crack. I see the Community Shield when Liverpool isn't playing as a glorified friendly. Yeah. You know, it's just a friendly. You're kind of waiting for the Premier League. What else do you watch on, you know, the weekend? All right, chuck on the Community Shield. You get that little plate that you hold. Do you know you can serve tea and biscuits on it? <laughs> you know, I, personally. I'm not one for the... But if my club was playing, I would care. So I am being a bit biased. It gives you a taster of what's coming up. Wenger Mourinho, that battle has been ongoing for so long. And finally, it seems like Father Wenger is going to get one over him. What do you think about Arsenal? Can they challenge for the title? What do you think about the Community Shield? Does it matter to teams or does it only matter for those that are playing? Leave your comments below. So one of the biggest talking points in this game, and it has been for a little while, ever since uh, I would say Wayne Bridge, Jonathan Terry, is the fact that Wenger and Mourinho didn't shake hands. How much of an issue is that in today's game? And what do you think that sort of says about the, ma you know, the managers themselves? Should they be shaking hands? Uh, no. If you don't respect each other, you know, if you don't like each other, if you, well, it seems like they hate each other, well, why shake hands? Incidents and, and cases like that, make the game a bit more special. It adds a bit of spice to your food. So for me, I think it's good for the game, that rivalry for this season. Now, I'm really looking forward to Arsenal Chelsea in the league. What do you think, Man Copper fam? Uh, this, this incident here with Wenger and Mourinho not shaking hands, is it a massive issue in today's game? Do you feel they should, you know, just make up and carry on with life? Rap battle. <laughs> a rap battle. Leave a comment and let us know <laughs> if they should have a rap battle. And is it appropriate for managers in today's game to not be shaking hands? Now, obviously, being the Arsenal fan he is, Poet was at the game and our friend Rory from Chelsea Fans Channel was also. Check this out. Poet Vuj, it's been a while hasn't it? Greetings from Wembley. Chelsea versus Arsenal. The champions versus the FA Cup winners. It doesn't really get bigger than this. London rivals, I'm buzzing. We beat them! We beat Mourinho! We beat Mourinho! I'm absolutely gutted. It was a completely a blue weekend for Chelsea because on <laughs> Saturday they actually managed to win the first competitive FA Cup final here at Wembley. That is true and a massive crowd of 30,000 turned up, the biggest ever for a women's FA Cup final. Check out this little video. The winners of Wembley of the SSE Women's FA Cup 2023, Chelsea! was actually the first bit of silverware for the female team of Chelsea. So congratulations, girls. Quality. Indeed, they won 1-0. G scored. Uh, 
it's just good to see that you know women's football is, is escalating to this level where it should be and that football is growing in general. Moving on, uh, Roy Keane has come out in the press and said that he doesn't believe Arsenal can actually win the league this season purely because they take too many selfies. They're more concerned with their hair, six packs and so on and so forth. Before you give your opinion, I'll say Roy Keane is 2015, not 1999 when you were winning Champions League, not 2000, 2001 when Dwight York was good. It's 2015. I agree with Roy Keane. Why? I think it's too much. I think, you know, selfies everywhere. It's just the time and a place. I think, you're, you know what? I don't actually have a point here. Arsenal won the, won the FA Cup twice in a row. Twice in a row. You know back what? To back. I don't have a Drake. point. Take all the selfies you want. Maybe Ben Teke needs to take more selfies. You know what? Sturridge takes loads, but he's always in the NHS. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't think social media actually has an effect on your performance. Copper fam, leave a comment. What do you think about Roy Keane's ludicrous comments? Text him before a free kick. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, love. Mom, I'm going to be home late. <laughs> but, but my parents aren't home. <laughs> Myself and Poet are going to be down at the Adidas 2 on 2 tournament at Brixton Pop this Thursday. So why don't you come down and see us, but you could also be repping Copper 90. We've had some great entries for the competition and tomorrow we are making our decisions. So make sure you're sending your videos in to us on the Instagram, which is at Copper 90 for your opportunity to be a part of this competition. Just add hashtag Team Copper 90, hashtag Be The Difference and at Adidas UK and you could be joining us. Cheers. Giveaway time. We have got a winner from last week's show for the Arsenal kit. And this is the comment here from Brady Hardy, which has won it. He has said, hashtag Arsenal shirt, best kit we've had in years. Can't currently afford it, but it'll be great if I could win it with that sexy box. You guys are my heroes. Congratulations, young man. Not only do you get to wear it when we win the Premier League, but you also get to wear it when we win the FA Cup this season. And thank you to Puma for giving it to us in the first place. And the box actually makes more noise than the Emirates. I'm sure you're going to love it. But speaking of kits, I was actually Costa's test on me for the new Chelsea kit advert that they've done. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just check this out. Credit where credit's due, mate. Yours is better. Thank you. It Much wasn't, it wasn't comfortable better. wearing that kit. Right, moving on. Here at Copper 90, we've been asking you to send in videos as we need six new presenters in our competition in search of. That is right. And we've had an entry from none other than Adi Akin Fenwa, the beast himself. Take a look at this. And I'm going to ask the hard-hitting questions. So, what do you think the serious issue between Rafa Benitez's wife and Mourinho? Oh, shit. Damn. Tell Poet I'm coming for him. You want some? Adi, you are a beast, but I am faster than you. You can't catch me. But obviously, they didn't even want to get me because we go way back to AFC Wimbledon Liverpool and we knocked you out, but you did score the goal. To check out the full video, please do click the link in the description below. It's on Adi's channel. He's a legend. Ah. Now it's time to move on to none other than transfers, 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 rumours, 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 rumours. All right, Vooch. Yes. It's time to make these United fans extremely happy because there's a rumour that will not go away. Ain't that right, Teddy123? This mm. rumour just won't go away. Bail a United player thoughts. I don't want to think about that. I don't want that to happen. But for the Premier League, I do want it to happen. I think Gareth Bale is a great person. He's a bit of a gentleman. He, he deserves to be back here, playing in the best league in the world. So, welcome back, but not at United. Uh, Gareth Bale, mate, look, you had a bit of a season to forget last year. I reckon that you should just plod on in the Spanish league and prove your worth. You had one good season, one bad season. Let them know you're not a one-season wonder. Keep going, bro. Keep going, I say. You can do it, Gareth. Okay, move on to the next rumour. Spurs fans, how about this? Joe Hughes says, Berahino to Spurs, sports. Um, could possibly happen. Apparently, he's just left his agent, AD, the same person I was responsible for looking after Chamberlain and Sterling. And the farce of the Sterling situation, <laughs> yeah. Berahino, good striker, though. Um, dangerous, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I think more suited to, uh, to Tottenham. You yeah. know, he's, he's got that kind of pace on him. He's quite small. Got that, I feel like the Defoe character about him. Uh, he's good on the ball. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, yeah. instinctive. And he probably will leave West Brom. I think it'll be a good move for him to go to Spurs because it'll take a little bit of pressure off Harry Kane because it is a testing season for Harry Kane and he's just going to have all the pressure on him to score goals. If you bring in someone like Berahino, it takes that pressure off. He can play with that freedom that he played with last year as well. So, um, but obviously, I don't want that to happen. We've got one here from Tim's Key One. This is interesting. 
Berbatov to Villa. Thoughts? I don't know. I think I see him more in like a Godfather 7 or something. <laughs> no, I don't really see him in, in football anymore. He's like Voldemort of football. You reckon so? Yeah, there's something that's so dark about him, but I love him. I love I him. Love I'd him. love to see him back in the Prem. I just don't see him going to Villa. I think he'd want to go somewhere where he could probably put his socks up. Possibly America, maybe Dubai, you know, China. I don't see him coming back to the Prem. I think he wants to relax now and do shady stuff with his friends. <laughs> Got a comment here from Dylan. Dylan says, make your predictions for top four for the new season. Ah, and guess what? We already have. Check out this video below Poet after the show. All right, now time to move on to comments of the week. First comment is from Veli Southford, who says, Rooney says he's ready to be the player that scores all the goals. Do you think this is true? Ooh. Yes, yes. I feel like Wayne Rooney, unfortunately for himself, has been a victim of talent. Because he's such a talented footballer that can probably play centre-back, probably play centre midfield, probably be the hot dog man. He's given too many roles. You put him up front, Rooney scores goals. Can he beat Bobby Charlton's record? Ooh, leave a comment and let us know if he can beat Bobby Charlton's record. I'll keep that to myself. We'll move on to the next one though, from Michael Carpenter. He says, Lambert scores a brace on his debut for West Brom. Thoughts? I think the most interesting thing about that whole situation is he does a medical, an hour later he's on the field, and then an hour and a half later he scored two goals. So in two and a half hours, he signs for a different team, plays and scores two goals. Amazing. He's done more than he's done at Liverpool um, for that one year he was there. So I'm just happy we've offloaded him. And uh, yeah, he can carry his toolkit at another club. Wow. Third comment here is from Jorge Vasquez, who says, can you guys talk about South American football? This coming up Wednesday is the second leg of the Copa Libertadores final. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm normally asleep when South American football is on. But you guys, if you're going to be watching the final, please do leave your comments below teach us a bit more and maybe, you know, tell us who we should support. Because for me, I've always felt Boca were the best. That stadium, the Bombonera, sweet. If you are at the game this coming Wednesday, make sure to send us in a video and we can feature it on the show next week. We have reached the end of this show. However, this weekend, a new show begins. It's the Premier League. The season starts again and I cannot wait. I just... It's in me, like I'm ready for football. Copper fan, we are asking you, are Arsenal genuine title contenders this season? Berahino, can he make Spurs a side that breaks into the top four? And will Wayne Liverpool Rooney... Liverpool win the Premier League. Will Wayne Rooney break Charlton's record? Leave comments, let us know about that and everything else we discussed in today's show. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. But from us at Wembley, thanks to the brilliant FA, Johan Kabai. What a guy. Yeah, I can buy.